All right, fam, what is going on? And you know what? It's about time I made an update video for the cheapest way to develop film because I made that initial video like two years ago and obviously a lot has changed. A lot has changed. We're living in different times and that video honestly no longer applies. In this video, I'm gonna tell you and show you the best and the cheapest and the most approachable ways to develop and get your film scanned in 2020 because there's a few ways, specifically three, and I'm gonna take you through them all and help you decide which one suits you and which one is the best option for you. All right, so let's just get right into it onto the computer. All right, so here we are in the dark room, which was the first way and the best way I initially said that you should develop your film when I made that first video that honestly did super well. I didn't think it would go so crazy, but it's like my third most viewed video. So that's pretty cool. However, a lot has changed since then. And since then, uh, the dark room, one, has not only raised its price, but two, because of COVID and quarantine, uh, they are limiting their customers to existing customers only. Now, a week ago, when I first tried to make this video, I had I redid it because of audio issues. They had it completely closed off. So right about now, not only is it really not dependable, especially if you're not a already member of it, but it's at this point, from what I've learned in gotten to know about the film world, it's honestly probably one of the most expensive ways. So just the baseline cost of getting your film developed with a link uh, sent to you and no physical copies, it's $12 for a roll of color film. Uh, and it costs a few more dollars depending on if you have like one of those special kinds of film like 120 or 110 or something like that. And then it's six dollars for shipping. So you're looking at 12, 18 dollars for about a two week turnaround time on your film. And then it'll probably be a month for you to get your negatives and your disc in the mail. Now, I honestly don't recommend this option anymore because of, well, obviously the restrictions to access, but also to pay 18 dollars um, to get one roll of film developed you know, seems a little ridiculous to me, but if you have a bunch, maybe it's more economical, but you have to wait longer, which in my opinion, isn't worth it. Even though the quality of the, of the development of your photos is really good, if you want high res images, you have to pay more for that. It's a few bucks extra for each tier of better quality scans, which means the better quality scans means the bigger your photo, the bigger you can print it at a high quality level, right? So if you just get like the base one, like I recommended for $18 for, for one roll, including shipping, uh, you're pretty much limited to like Instagram and a small four by six photo. Um, and you really can't print that much bigger. So yeah, not that economical. And I'm just trying to be quick here because you have to assess if it's worth it for you or not. Personally, I don't think so. I think this next choice that I'm gonna talk about is in my opinion, the best way to uh, develop your film. So my favorite way to develop film is to get it developed locally and then scan it yourself, right? So that means that you're gonna pay less per the roll, but you gotta spend a little bit more time to scan it yourself, which doesn't really take all that much more time and you have a lot more control. The only thing is, is that you have to invest in a film scanner and depending on your needs, you can go pretty low tier or you can go really high tier and like, you know, buy something exceptional that breaks the bank. We'll talk about scanners in a second, but let's talk about uh, going local to get your film developed. This is where I go. I'm here in Washington, DC, and I go to a local place called Dish to Camera. What I do is I go in and I, I tell them I want it developed only, and it costs me $8 a roll. That is so cheap, $8 a roll. Uh, they use like a machine, so it's a 24 hour turnaround. So literally, I bring it in like right now, I go back tomorrow at four o'clock and my film is ready. And since I already have the scanner, I could literally have my color film back in a day. Unfortunately for black and white, they have to do it by hand. It takes a week turnaround, but that's still a lot less than the dark room and I didn't have to pay shipping and I'm supporting locally. So I really like a lot of those aspects. If you don't have anything around you, please do not go to Walmart, do not go to Walgreens, do not go to CVS. They do not develop their film in, in house anymore. They send it off and it takes like a whole month and by the end of it, because you're because you pretty much have to get the prints too, you're gonna be waiting a month and then you just paid like $30 for like one roll of film. So that's a really important part is do not go to CVS and do not go to Walmart. Try and go local like I do. But that brings us to the next step and that is you have to invest in a film scanner, which I think is 100% worth it and a good investment if you plan to do film for the long run. And even if you don't, you can buy a lower end film scanner that can meet your needs. So let me just show you some options really quick. 
My first recommendation for a film scanner is going to be the Lomography Smartphone Scanner because everyone has a phone and everyone has access to free apps to scan their film. And I've never used it, but I think we could just like look at a photo and see how it's done. I'm sure there's an easy tutorial, but right now it's only $40. Can't promise that by the time you watch this video, it will be that price. But even the regular price at $70, that's still a pretty decent price to get pretty decent scans. And with this kind of scan, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna get the highest resolution, but you're gonna get your film scanned pretty decently and it'll look really good on Instagram or anything like that. Now, if you're scanning for your photography exhibition or to make fine art prints, probably don't want to go with the Lomography smartphone scan. You might want to go a little higher up in price, but if you just want something that gets by, that's quick and that's affordable, definitely go with this. I mean, if anything, the whole point of film is to have an aesthetic, so this might even add to the aesthetic like most Lomography products do. And so the next product I'm gonna recommend is the Kodak Scanza. This is right above the Lomography film scanner. A little more pricey at $160. However, you can get it off Amazon. So I don't know if it's Prime. No, it doesn't look like Prime, but you can get it off Amazon. It has an LCD display screen, and I'm sure it does at least a little bit of a better job as it's its own dedicated thing, just like the other option. This, like I said, is a step up. Personally, if I was to choose between one or the other, I'd probably go Lomography just because I have an affinity for Lomography. Now, my personal recommendation is the Epson Perfection V550. However, if you look at that price, it's completely ridiculous because these have since been discontinued. However, this is what I use all the time and I absolutely love this scanner because it's a flatbed scanner, meaning I can scan a bunch of other things like Instax, Polaroids, documents, and still get the really high quality film scans. I use this for everything and I've done fine art prints with this scanner well. I would recommend going for the Epson V600. I'm pretty sure that's the new one. It's really hard to get because it's in such high demand because the film's in such high demand right now and everyone knows this is a really good film scanner and an affordable film scanner. So it's quite hard to find. You really shouldn't be paying, what does it say? $500 for that. That's just Amazon scammers, uh, an Amazon reseller trying to get you. You can find it on a weird places like Best Buy, Office Depot, Office Max, any of those places if you just get it when they drop. So just turn those notifications on and you'll find it. Now, there are other film scanner options that go a little bit more in price. You know, I don't wanna to get too deep into it. You can do your own research on film scanners. These are just some of the entry point low budget options that I'm familiar with that I would uh, feel comfortable recommending to you guys, so yeah. All right, now my last recommendation is going to be develop it yourself. Quite obvious, right? Why didn't I think of that in the first place? You can always develop it yourself, which I think in the long run will save you money, save you a trip. However, the downside is that it's gonna take more time. You have to actually learn how to do it. And there's a chance you could mess something up a completely ruined and awesome roll of film that you really needed because the temperature degrees were just a little bit off. So that's the risk you take with the developing at home. However, if you do want to develop it, I will have a link in the description with all the products that I recommend from Amazon. First product is going to be a dark room bag. Uh, because that's if you don't have a dark closet or a dark room, then you have to have a dark space and the bag is a great choice. You're going to need um, a, a tank in a reel. That's what you put the negatives on in there and put them in the chemicals. So you're definitely going to need that. And there's different options. If you're shooting 120 film, you can get a reel for that. You can also get a bigger tank for multiple rolls of film. Completely your choice. I'll have those options in the description as well. And so the next thing you're gonna need is your chemicals, which I have right here. And that, of course, this, this is in the description as well. And this has all the chemicals you need for color because color takes a lot more chemicals than black and white, but it's 50 bucks. You got the chemicals. I think you can use it up to 22 or 24 times per batch of chemicals because when you use the chemicals, you store them and you keep them to reuse them for a certain amount of times until they hit their limit. And of course, you're going to need a thermometer. So this is a cheap thermometer that's instant read, waterproof, something that you'll definitely need. And then the last thing you'll need is uh, containers to hold your chemicals. Of course, I'm gonna recommend glass containers. Uh, they're the most trusty. They don't let as much UV light in. And they come with, this This one on Amazon comes with a funnel. So like I said, link in the description below. And of course, you know, you're gonna need that scanner. So if you're gonna invest in 
all the products to develop at home. The initial investment is going to be $159, aka $160, and that's with the changing bag. So if you don't need the changing bag and you got a dark bathroom, uh, you could just take away $22 and you're looking at you're looking at $137 and you'll get to reuse the bottles, you get to reuse the thermometer and you get to reuse the tank and the reel all the time. The only thing you have to buy again is the set of chemicals, which is 50 bucks. And if you were to price that out, a roll of color film for me to develop is $8, the chemicals is $50. So if you're just rebuying the chemicals after using it, we're gonna say 22 times, you're looking at $2.27 per roll of film. Granted that it takes extra time and you have to learn to do it yourself, but once you get it down, I'm sure it's a lot faster and I'm sure you have a lot more control over the film. And hey, you might be into it. Maybe you could do it for your friends and make a little change on the side. I know one of my friends, she did that and she's trying to develop my film. However, I take pictures of way too much dirty shit to let her do that. And I wouldn't wanna do that to a poor girl. <laughs> So you can see how the savings is kind of built in right there. So it's kind of just like a time versus money thing, depending on where you're at in the spectrum. Personally, I don't ever wanna to have to develop my own film. I would rather go and support my local business, let them do it. I don't need any more things to do. I don't need any more crap in my apartment. I will just go and pay $8 to get my film developed every time. But looking at the fact that it only takes $2.30, that is pretty impressive for just having chemicals. Pretty impressive. All right, so that's my guide to the most effective and cheapest way to develop film for yourself. I really hope this video provided you a lot of value. And please, if you find kindness in your soul, uh, please use the links in the description of this video to uh, buy the products, uh, depending on what you're gonna get. I will have almost everything listed there because your boy gets a little bit of money. Like it's literally a little bit of money for uh, you buying that product, but it adds up and it helps support me, especially during this whole coronavirus crisis and that whole nine yards. And I'd, I'd rather be doing this than Instacart. Yeah. So guys, anyways, enjoy. Let me know in the comments what you think. Peace out.